Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. The first thing, and you're not gonna like this, is I would tell parents to delay the introduction of electronics for as long as possible. Oh no, I like that. It's um, kind of hard if your kids are homeschooled or if you're doing hybrid learning, but if you have to introduce them to electronics, make sure that it's only school-based. Anything game-based, you wanna delay it as long as possible. Because Lee, I don't know if you've seen the documentary, The Social Dilemma. I did, and I sat my kids down and made them watch it with me. And my daughter started deleting apps after she watched it. It was probably the best thing we ever could have done. And that dude who created AI, he kind of creeped me out. Yeah, yeah, the whole thing creeped me out. But I mean, parents need to watch that documentary. But I think what parents need to understand is technology is designed to keep you addicted, especially games. And for young minds, they just can't handle that addiction to technology. They don't know how to hit the off switch in order to get disconnected from those devices. So it it obviously causes a digital addiction. So delay any introduction to electronics for as long as you can. If you look at a lot of social media apps, kids are supposed to be at least 16 or older when they get on social media because of a law called COPA, which is the Child Online Protection Act, which basically means that social media accounts really can't be geared or focused towards younger kids which unfortunately parents work around that all the time and let their kids get on there in an effort to, uh, let's be honest, probably free themselves up so the kid can stare at it a little bit. But I am, I I mean, I was horrified when I watched the social dilemma, especially when you realize that the executives of these companies that have designed this addictive software, they put their kids in schools with no electronics, with pencil and paper. So you've obviously had the same challenge that I've had and every other parents had during the pandemic of kids got forced at home onto virtual school where I watched my kids overload on screens. And so the good thing was they burned out of it and decided on their own to go outside more because they were needing to bust away from it. What's your best tip for parents that are still virtual schooling and may stay there for a while because of COVID concerns. The best tip that I have would be to enable parental controls on every electronic device that you have. Doesn't matter if it's an iPad or an Android tablet, smartphone, computer, and even gaming systems. And parental controls isn't gonna allow you to monitor. Basically what you're doing is you're setting limits so that your kid knows when to get off or is kicked off. So you start that muscle memory of them understanding that there's limits to to gameplay. So I think the daily amount is one to two hours a day. So any parental control software can at least limit your kids. So download it, get it. If you don't understand it, get a hold of somebody who can help you set up parental controls so that you can monitor your kids and make sure that they don't get overloaded on electronics. You know, you know, I got to ask you, what's the best one to use? Which one do you use in your house? And is there one that's more user friendly than others? Because I do a lot with technology, but not everybody does. And I think that can be a hurdle for a lot of people to cross. If it feels complicated, they just blow it off. And we need them to really know what's happening in their household. So you got any suggestions for us? Yes. Like I said, there's no all-inclusive app. So the good thing about most tech devices now, parental controls are already built in. So if you've got a window or a Macintosh computer, you can go in and set up parental controls. Same thing with smartphones and tablets. They're already built in. Now, gaming systems have them built in, but the Nintendo Switch and the Sony PlayStation have an added bonus because you can download an app that will control those devices remotely. So with your Windows and your Mac, you definitely have to set up what's called family accounts and you have to get onto your computer to monitor and set time limits. But again, with the gaming systems, 
both Xbox, I forgot Xbox, but Xbox, Nintendo, Switch, and the Sony PlayStation all have apps that you can download, set up family accounts, and monitor all, or at least set time limits so that they're not going bonkers with their online play. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.